हाई फ्रेंड्स हाय प्रोफेसर मिसेस कीर्ति भूषण जरे वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द बाय सेक्शन मेथड व्हिच इज यूजफुल फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द एग्जैक्टली रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन सो लेट इज स्टार्ट फॉर द दैट मेथड सो यू आर गोइंग टू कंसीडर द वन नंबरिक गर्ल दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स माइनस वन सॉल्व बाय यूजिंग बाय सेक्शन मेथड आई डू द इट्रेशन अप टू द सिक्स राइट सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द न्यूमेरिकल स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू डू द इट्रेशन सो फर्स्टली अप टू वेन अपकोर्स इट इज द इट्रेटिव मेथड राइट सो बाय सेक्शन सो नेम इज इंडिकेट्स बाय सेक्शन मीन इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू पार्ट और यू हैव टू कंसिडर द एवरेज इन दैट right so definitely uh, if it is mentioned in the numerical statement so you can do the iteration up to that particularly point but if it is not mentioned so definitely you have to go up to the accuracy level or firstly you have to set the accuracy level and with respect to that you are going to complete the iteration right so firstly you are going to see that which are the different steps to solve it by section method so first step is nothing but you have to decide the what is and what is the a and what is the b means what you have to find out the exact root of the equation hence the name is a by section by section means two numbers are involving that's why you are going to consider the a and the b right see by by means what of course it is the you are going to consider the two section you are going to consider the average or you are going to consider the mid point right so same manner firstly you have to decide it. in the first step you have to decide the a and b so how can you decide it, the a and b definitely you can consider the any number but why you are going to select that you are going to consider that a always less than the b this is the criteria for a bisection algorithm this is our first step now coming to the step step 2 right you have to find out the bisection average or the midpoint of this two uh, numbers of two roots you are going to consider right or two values you are going to consider so that is become you are going to calculate x0 is equal to a plus b by 2 right now you are going to calculate the f of x0 right f of x0 is whatever the value you got from here you are going to put it in your particular function right and you are going to determine the f of x0 If in the first step you got the f of x zero is equal to the zero, so at that time you can stop the process and whatever the values of the x zero is there, that is the exactly root of your given equation. But if this condition is not there, so what are the different different step you have to do, right? So this is step step second. Right now, into the step third, if you didn't get f of x zero is equal to the zero, right? If you do, did not get, so you are going to consider if f of a multiplied by f of b means if you didn't get f of x zero is equal to the zero, so how can you say the new value of a and b? How can you say the new value of a and b? Like in the previous. YouTube link, the YouTube video, I have already explained the Newton's Raphson method. So in that, you are only considering the one, right? You are going to assume the only initial guesses value become the one, and after that, you can just do the further calculations. Now here, by section means average mid point, so you are going to consider the two points over there. How can you see, how can you say the new A and the B? Right. So, if right, if consider if f of a multiplied by f of x zero, right? This value is definitely 
whenever it is less than 0 so at that time you can consider b is equal to the x0 b is equal to the x0 if it is condition is not satisfied so else if f of b multiply by f of x0 when it is less than the 0 so at that condition a become the x0 so new value of a become the x0 right similarly new value of a and b calculate the midpoint right and just do the simple calculation still you didn't get the f of x0 is equal to the 0 or else up to the accuracy level so what is the definitely you have to set the accuracy level it may be the 0.01 it may be 0.0001 right depending upon the numerical statement depending upon how much decimal point you are going to round up so accordingly you are just do the you have to just maintain the accuracy level in that right so this is a simple algorithm right only you have to assume the a and b so while you are assuming it so definitely a is less than the b this is first condition now in the step second you are going to take the bit of a and b means you are going to consider the average of a plus b by the 2 right if this average you got 0 so you can directly say x0 is the exact root of that particularly numerical or particularly function if it is not there right so how can you say the new value of a and b right so for that you are going to firstly check if your f of a multiplied by f of x0 which is less than 0 so b become the x0 and as f of b multiplied by f of x0 it is less than 0 so a is equal to the x0 so it must be satisfied the one condition and with respect to that you are going to consider the new value of the a or new value of the b and whatever the previous value is there a or b which condition is not satisfied so based upon that you can directly consider that particularly value right so let us start for the numericals right the numerical is already stated that your function is f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1. You have to solve by the bisection method. Means this with respect to this algorithm. And you have to iterate up to the 6. There are already mentioned you have to iterate up to the 6. So let us start from that method. So f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1. Right? Now you are going to consider a become the less than the b and I am going to consider b value become the 2. So initially cases I am going to set and which is going to satisfy the condition according to the bisection algorithm. So a is equal to a, b is equal to 2. This is my initial algorithm. So from that I am going to calculate the x0. So it is nothing but a plus b by the 2. Right? So 1 plus 2 by 2 so is equal to 3 by 2 so it is nothing but 1 point by u. Right? It is nothing but 1 point by u. So for you can say the simplicity you have to make one table. Right? So firstly you have to write the iteration over there. Right? How much iteration you have to do? So simple you have to do the iteration up to the 6 right so simply first second third fourth fifth and the six because accordingly the numerical statement they are already given you have to it up to the only six right after that you are going to set the value of a you are going to value of b same manner you are going to consider the what is the f of a over here what is the f of b Right? And in the same manner, what is the x0 for that particular thing? And what is the f of x0? Right? So this table you have to make for a simplicity. Right? So first value. Now 
first value you are going to state of the a that is the 1 and b value becomes the 2 right you have already calculated the mid point that has become the 1 point for you right that becomes the 1 point for you now you have to calculate the this function of a b and function of the x 0 right so now function of a means function of 1 is nothing but 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 so you got the value minus 1 right function of 2 right so that is same way 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 5 right now in the same manner f of again 1.5 so in nothing but 1.5 cube minus 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0.875 pio right it becomes the 0.875 so you can just quickly write this all value over here that is minus 1 you got the pio and 0.875 pio right now you have to check f of x0 definitely uh, of course you didn't get up to the accuracy level or s you have to already given you have to get up to the 6 iterations okay so for that you can just go for the second iteration now you are going to set the new value of a and the b accordingly the condition which is stated into the bisection algorithm okay so you can just already completed the first iteration right or you are going to find out the f of x0 right now you can go for the second iteration so for that you have to set the new value of a and the b okay okay so now firstly you have to check which condition is going to satisfied so you are going to consider f of a multiplied by f of x0 right which is less than the 0 so now what is the f of a that is the minus 1 multiply by f of x0 is equal to the 0 0.875 and is equal to minus 0 0.875 now in the second step f of b multiply by f of x0 right this total value should be the less than the 0 now coming to our problem statement that f of b become the phi u and multiply by f of x0 become the 0 0.875 right so from it to 3 7 phi u right now you have to see the which condition is going to satisfy so if this condition is satisfied so at that condition you are going to set the b value is equal to the x0 if this condition is satisfied so a value become the x0 right so accordingly you are going to satisfy the first condition right which is the of course minus value right which is the less than the 0 so now you are going to state the b value become the x0 and a value become the as it is right so in the second uh, statement a value become the a1 a value become the as it is a value become the 1 and b value become the x0 so now, now what is the value of x0 that is the 1 point by u right that is the new value you are going to set the new value for b that is the 1 point for you accordingly our algorithm conditions okay now what is the f of a you are already calculated f of a so it is the again minus 1 now what is the 1 point for you right 1 point for you whenever you are going to consider the 1 point for you put into the equation so you got the value become 0 0.875 now how can you calculate the average right so that is simple one you are going to calculate the average it is the like that so x is 0 you are going to calculate so it is what 1 plus 1.5 1 1.25 right become x0 now same manner you are going to calculate the function of 1.25 so it is nothing but 1.25 cube minus 1.25 minus value of 1.25 into this function 
that is 1.25 cube minus 1.25 minus 1. So you got the value become minus 0 0.2968, right? So you can just put over here, that is the value become 1.25 and this value become minus 0 0.2968. Right? In this way, you have already completed our second iteration. Right? Now, go for the third iteration. Now, simple way, you are going to check the condition. Which condition is going to satisfy? So, simply you can consider again f of a multiplied by the f of x0, right? Which is less than 0. If this condition is satisfied, so at that condition, b is equal to the x0 and same manner f of b multiply by f of x0 which is less than the 0 so at that condition a is equal to the x0 right so this condition is going to satisfy or you have to check the which condition is satisfied now in the same manner now what is my f of a that become minus 1 multiply by what is the new f of x0 so that become minus 0 0.2968 so it will become plus 0 0.2968 right now in the same manner what is the f of b so that become 0 0.875 multiply by f of x0 become minus 0 0.2968 right so minus 0 0.25 9.97 right now again you have to see that which condition is going to satisfy now definitely this value is the lesser than the 0 so I am going to set this condition now what is my new a so new value of a become the x0 right so x0 value become what 1.25 so my new value of a become 1.25 and B value become as it is that is 1.5. Now what is the function of 1.25 that are already calculated that is minus 2, 9, 6, 8 right minus 0 0.2968 and 1.5 that function of 1.5 that become 0 0.870 x0 become 1.25 plus 1.5 by the Two, right so you got the value become 1.375 you got the value become 1.375 so you can just quickly write over here that is 1.375 and same final you are going to calculate the function of 1.375 so it become 1.375 cube minus 1.375 minus 1.2246 right you got the value 0 0.2246 so you can just quickly write over here that become 0 0.2246 so in this way you have completed our third iteration now go for the fourth iteration now again you have to check the which condition is going to satisfy right so f of a multiplied by f of x0 right which is less than 0 if condition satisfied so b is equal to the x0 otherwise f of b multiplied by f of x0 which is less than 0 so at that condition a is equal to the x0 so you can take the value of f of 0 is nothing but 0 0.2968 multiply by what is the value of f of 0 so that is 0 0.2246 is equal to minus 0 0.066 so it is into the minus sign and in the same manner what is the f of b so f of b value become 0 0.875 u multiply by f of x0 become 0 0.2246 so you got 0 0.19625 right again you have to check that which condition is going to satisfy over here so condition is going to satisfy right 
this condition is going to satisfy. So you can say the new value of the B and A value become the as it is. Okay. So you are going to consider that is the 1.25 as it is. And what is the new value of the B? So that is nothing but the x0 value. So that is 1.375. Right. So now what is the function over here? I can write 0.2968. In the same manner 1.3, so I got the function 0.2246, right? Now, again I have to take the mid of this both point, right? So, mid of this both point means what? That is x0 become 1.25 plus 1.375 by the 2, right? 0.3125. Right, so I got value here 1.3125. Now, in the same manner, I am going to put the function that is 1.3125 into the main function. So, 1.3125 cube minus 1.3125 minus 1, right, minus so 0.051. Right, so I got the value that become minus 0 0.0 minus 0 0.051. Right, now only two iteration is remaining. Right, so in the same manner again I have to save the new value of A and B. Right, so how I am going to save that is the simple one. We are going to see, uh, save that which condition is going to satisfied over the over here and accordingly you, are, you can just consider it. So at that time B is equal to the X0 F of B multiplied by F of X0 if it is less than 0 so at that condition A is equal to the X0. Now what is the F of A? So I got the F of A value become minus 0 0.2968 and what is the F of X0? So I got the value that is the 1.3125 right so by just 0 0.19625 right so now again I am going to set the new condition I am going to set the new value of satisfied so definitely this condition is satisfied second condition is going to satisfy so I am going to consider the new value of A become the x0 right so x0 value become 1.3125 and b value become as it is that is the 1.375 right now what is the f of a means f of a of 1.325 so it become the minus 0.051 and in the same manner 1.37 what is f of this so it is 0.2968 now again i am going to find out the average of this two points that is become x0 is equal to 1.3125 plus 1.375 by the 2 become 1.3435 you quickly put over here that is 1.34375 for the same manner I am going to calculate the f of 1.34375 so I am going to just quickly put into this function that is 1.3 cube minus 1.34375 minus 1 0 0.0826 right so I got the value become 0 0.0826 now in the same manner now I am going to just save the new value again because I have to iterate up to the 6 right. So now new value of x0 how can I consider same manner f of a multiply by f of x0 which is less than 0 at that condition b is equal to the x0 and f of b multiply by f of x0 at that condition a is equal to the x0 right now in the what is value of f of a so it is nothing but minus 0 0.051 multiply by f of x0 become 0 0.0826 right 
3.21 into 10 raised to the minus 3. Right? And in the same manner, what is the f of from b? So, f of b is what? That is minus 0 0.2968 multiplied by f of x zeros become 0 0.0826. Right? 0 0.0185 by u by u. Right? To satisfied. So, of course, my b value become the x0. So, this value become as it is. And B value become the X0. So now what is the value of X0? That is 1 point. So now I got the value of X0 become 1.3437 pi u. Right? And in the same manner, I am going to calculate the function. So I got the function over here. That is minus 0 0.05 u1. And this value become 0 0.0826. Right, and after that, I have to find out the midpoint. So, midpoint is nothing but I am going to consider the average that A is equal to 1.3125 plus 1.34375 by the 2. 1.3281. Right? right, so I got the 1.3281. So, I got the Function of this means I am going to put again over here that is 1.3281 cube minus 1.3281 minus 1 0.014 so we are going to iterate up to the 6 iteration and this is the exactly root of the that particular numerical that is the x cube minus x minus 1. So what is my exactly root of this equation? So it becomes the 1.3281. 3285 this is the exact root of the, this particularly function right so this is the algorithm with respect to the bisection method but generally it is depending upon the numerical statement how much you have to iterate or you have to set the accuracy level and accordingly you have to just do the uh, simple calculations right so what is the keywords that you are going to remember that first point you have to select the two roots, hence it is the bisection method. So you are going to consider the two values for that, two initial guesses for that. So how you can select that A, of course less than the B, right? And accordingly you are going to find out the midpoint that is the A plus B by the 2. And how can you set the new value? So you are going to check the condition. If f of a multiplied by f of x0 which is less than the 0, so at that condition b become the x0 and when f of b multiplied by f of x0, f of x0 is less than the 0, at that condition a is equal to the x0 and you are going to set the new value of a and b and just do the iterations, right? If you like, if you understand this method, so please like my video. Thank you so much.